Welcome back to Artifact Seeker and today we are playing Stella with a poison main weapon and I want to go focus a bit more on poison weapons today at least if we get them but I have to tell you one thing this game is ginormous as I've told you I spent all of the points that I earned the last time and what I'll do at the end of the video today is I will show you everything about the game at the end uh ooh, wow I mean that one is not poison, but that looks absolutely amazing. You know what? This one is damage and puncture. So I will also take this. That is uh, death and puncture. Sure, let's do it. Nice. Okay, let's go. But yeah, I will show you the city and what you can upgrade there. And it blew my mind. Now, do you remember at the end of the last run, I was able to keep certain things? Ooh, lightning serpent. That's a lightning skill. I would like to have the same stuff multiple times. Javelin. Nah, let's go with the reaper scythe. Do you remember at the end of the last run I was able to keep artifacts? Yep, and I could choose five points worth of an artifact. This one cost four, this one was one. You can upgrade that as well, and it's it, it just, like, really, it blows my mind. Do I want to go for a fire arrow? Now, this one is physical, and you are also physical. That means I kind of want to stick to physical stuff, even though an arrow makes sense. I think it would be harder to... Hmm. But it has the puncture... Let's stick to the poison arrow for now, but maybe later I'll switch it up. The main issue being I really just don't know what exists in the game. Reaper sounds like it can one-shot enemies, maybe? A <laughs> silver arrow. Now this is something I could take. That one is physical. You know what, let's try something else. Instead of locking stuff in, I will just focus on the main stuff that I want to evolve. Where we can get a unique upgrade. A toxic beetle. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a summon. Now I'm actually wondering if I want to focus on puncture or if I want to focus on poison. Originally the plan was poison, but I think I may want to focus on puncture instead for physical things. E yes. But that may change again and today we want to take revenge on this stage. We'll win. Do I take the shop refresh plus one? I actually don't know if you keep them. Uh, let me just get it though. It's always good, nice to have them. I'm not gonna waste them right now. It could be that they refill. What do we have here? Deceiving the water god and taking away the golden axe. Honestly, answer the axe is not yours. Uh, let's deceive him. The water god hands the golden axe to you with satisfaction and says greedy people will eventually get what they deserve. Exactly my point. This is why I'm always greedy. I deserve this. What is that? Display attributes. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Poison and pierce but magical really? Venomous strike. Rapidly swing the poison sword. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe I'll actually go for poison. Because so far we have seen a lot of poison. And we pretend this one is poison. It's also green. Right? It kind of makes sense. The elite is a bro. Oh my god. Is that you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like an elite. We have project penetration. Don't really need that all too much. Because I have a bonus there. But it's still nice to have that. Is the bird also an enemy? I think think he is fire poison bow arrows with uh, attached poison effect okay projectiles is nine wait what do you see that oh my god there's another poison okay let's just take all the poison stuff let's just do it uh okay and it doesn't just shoot into one direction. It actually changes who it hits. Yeah, let's let's all poison. But yeah, do you see that it changes who it hits? Like usually you waste a lot of stuff, but no, this is perfect. Uh, there we have the toxic nova. That sounds good. Let's go for that as well. And then we go for the toxic rain. And maybe we find replacements for them. Now one thing I've noticed the last time while editing, when I took a new skill and overrode an old skill, the new skill actually kept the levels. And that was when I got the dragon, it stayed level 3, which is what the original skill had. But yeah, looking at this right now, we have magic, magic, physical, magic, physical, physical. So it's pretty much a 50-50. Oh, that would have... Are you kidding me? Really? That would have been quite nice. Wait, is it just me or is this map completely different? Look at this, how thin it is. Or narrow, actually, not thin. Yeah, oh, I didn't even know they have these different kind of maps. That's that's really cool. And we saved you. I, d I think the last time it didn't count with the saving because I guess we didn't win. Let's use the right click and see what happened. Okay. That is so fancy. Everything about us is green. And I love that. 
it almost looks like here there are only really bad artifacts in comparison. So I will just buy more things compared to normal, especially the skill cooldown. I would assume if you stack them more than enough, like if you stack a bunch of them, then <laughs> your weapons will just fire off constantly. Like what is the limit on these? It doesn't say, oh, there's a limit. Oh, ah, that's how it works. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look at that. Like, depending on how many times you have them, they actually have different effects. Aha. Uh -huh. That also means I kind of want to... Yeah, get stuff like this, like stray. Okay, more shop refreshes. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> I have so many of them right now. Boss HP minus 10%. Elite 8. Oh my god, I need to max that out. That is so cool. Like, just how deep is this game? <laughs> like, what is going on? I thought this was so, such a random game, but no, it's amazing. <laughs> Lightning chain, I want that so badly. Yeah, the Venomous strike, sure, why not? <gasps> um, okay, what type are you? You're dark and crit, you don't fit into the build. I'm so sorry, I would love to take that, but it doesn't make any sense. Is this a meme? <laughs> Puncture skill power plus 20%. Coup de gras, what is that? Quickly and gracefully take away the enemy's life. Uh, percent of the critical hit rate exceeding 100% will be convert- Oh my god. Now the question is, currently I do not have enough money to buy that, but I think I can say, is there something in here I don't really care about? This one is probably the worst one in here. Even though scavenge is nice, it only gets the stuff that is remaining on the stage. So I will sell that. Yes, confirm. Okay, we got reputation. Now we have enough money to buy the god-killing arrow, which is so fitting to this. Wow. <laughs> we just got so much. Well, it's time to fight the boss. I wonder how powerful he'll be. I have a feeling... Are we just casually killing all of these enemies easily? Do you remember how much we struggled the last time? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just started and nuked the elite. I wonder how long this boss will survive. Okay, can we just skip this a little bit faster in the future, please, though? No. I don't like that when you're forced to watch something. Yeah, let's use the ultimate ability. I, oh my god, he's getting completely destroyed. Yeah, and his HP is the same compared to the last time. Like, nothing has changed. Look at this. Like, he has already transformed at, like, what was that? 66% HP or so? And it took him so long to go through the transformation just because we... Well, I mean, he took a huge amount of damage because we have high DPS. Okay. Oh. <gasps> um, do I actually get the experience on the stage? There was a magnet. This was just too fast for me. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I, I should collect everything. Yeah, good, good. Reaper Scythe, Venomous Strike. Yeah, let's max it out. Oh my god. What are these beauties? This one is Death Synergy. That it's it's not horrible, as you can see. It would give some power-ups, but we don't care about that all too much. 20% bonus damage is actually a lot. This one here is also not bad because it gives us a gold bonus, a huge one, eventually. But the same thing again, like this one, I don't want to have this and scavenge is not that great. So I'll just take the soul of Ira and yeah, the bonuses weren't good. Hmm, either we follow a voice that you hear or we leave. I will just follow. Surely that must be good. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I took damage and prepare to fight. Did we need to fight Ill way or is this like a trap? Because that sounded like a trap. Wait, there are so many enemies here. This is actually perfect. You know what? I'm happy about that. <laughs> that is so much money. <laughs> Imagine the enemy is like, Haha, you walked into my trap. Uh, you'll get attacked and earn a huge amount of money and experience. Oh no. How horrible. Okay, just how much damage do we have? I have a feeling I will regret this cockiness very soon. Sure, sure, let's get that. Yeah, I will regret this very soon, but until that happens, <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy that I can literally walk through the enemies and all of them are dying. There's a magnet. Just don't forget about the decks. Okay, I'm noticing it takes a bit longer to kill some of the enemies, but it really depends what weapon is shooting where. Uh, the poop? I still don't know what the point of the poop is. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Nice. I got everything. 
Oh, so there's the Toxic Beetle. I could replace the Reaper Scythe, but I, as I said, I don't think it makes sense because we already have six poison traits. So let's go for the Toxic Nova. Yeah, let's get that one up. Okay, did I understand something wrong about Scavenge? Because here it says when you pick up a magnet, so you collect everything, then you can get a bonus scavenging thing. Which is like, wait, but isn't that for picking up stuff that is left over? Yeah, I, I think I have this misunderstood in some way or another. I, I don't really get it. Yeah, but look at this. Scavenge the resource left on the battlefield after battle. So... That only gives you a benefit if you pick up a magnet way before, and then you would collect more. But we already have 62%. Jesus, that is a lot. And... <laughs> my, <laughs> why am I doing this again? This is not good. Oh my god, we have so much cooldown though. Strength is kind of good. Does this even go up or am I just dreaming? It could also be that physics didn't go up at all, right? Yeah. Never mind, it didn't even go up. Hey guys, I'm learning, okay? I'm learning. I have to figure out how this stuff works. So, yeah, that will just take some time. Let's actually take a look at the DPS. So this one is 86k, 3.8k, 590, 1.4k, 12... 12... <laughs> Not 12k. It has 12 DPS. <laughs> Oh my god, you suck! Oh no, you're so horrible! That's actually straight up insulting. Like, I feel insulted for that I, that, that I had to see that number. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> 12 DPS. <laughs> oh, I, 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 straight, I still can't believe that. <laughs> How is something? How can something be so horrible? Wait, really? So I guess it, it's like it's is it the stuff on the floor here? So it just can't hit the enemies. No, but that's that's way too pathetic. That's like a meme. DPS of 12 so far. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's. <laughs> I honestly didn't even think that would be possible. Straight up, I didn't think that would be possible. I'm starting to feel that I rather want to have something else that is puncturing. How good is the poison one? Ah, oh, poison blessing plus two. Mm, I don't want to lose them. Even though it's so bad, I think I'll just keep it as a, you know, unlock for the max level. Yeah, let's do it that way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 20 DPS, <laughs> Jesus, don't overwork yourself, you know, that's, that's, that's quite insane, that's, that's, that's crazy, <laughs> now it's down to 19, how, how can something be so bad, that was a nice magnet, actually I think that was a bit too late, how can something, I'm sorry, my mind is blown, I didn't even think that was possible that you can have something that is so horrible, yeah, I'll just sell stuff for money, eh, I actually have a lot of money, surprisingly enough. Okay, skill cooldown minus 3%. How much skill cooldown do we have right now? Minus 11.86. Let's actually see if this goes up to 14.86 or if it's 3% of the remaining. 14.86? Wait, what? That just gave me minus 5% because we got a different one. That's how it works. If you get different ones. Oh... So if I buy this one here, then we have another tier. Yeah, and it would go up to four. Sure, let's do that. That's fine. I don't even have to buy it. It's just free. Man, this game straight up blows my mind. Okay, <laughs> do I just take this? What do you give me? Crit damage. Mm, I mean, I guess it's kind of nice. Yeah, let's just do it. The, we do have intelligence, you know, that's why I'm a bit hesitant. But at the same time, one of the intelligent weapons is this one here with 14 DPS. <laughs> If we take that, it gets to level 5. Yeah, let's just do that as well. Okay, we need one more and it's maxed out. Wait, no, Pierce is already maxed out. Oh, it doesn't show you the new one. It just shows you the current one. Do I just buy the sausage? I feel like I should buy the sausage to get a little bit of bonus HP. I think that makes sense. And as the final one, we have bonus crit and the galop. I don't quite remember what that did. Here, Galop is increased movement speed after a dash for a few seconds. Wow, that's so useless. 
Reaper Scythe is maxed out though. Now we are fighting the elite. I think elite means we're guaranteed to get a good artifact if I understood that right. Yeah, I think we have way too much damage. Like it's actually, it's straight up ridiculous how much damage we have. There's the elite. Let's see how long he, Never mind, he's dead. That was the elite by the way. Yep, yeah, and it was a decent artifact. Oh, <laughs> I, <laughs> let's check out the DPS of this one. 21, uh, back to 2019, never mind, 18. Okay, never mind, it sucks again. Okay, sure, you you you, you tried, well, I, I would say you tried your best, but let's be honest. <laughs> That's way too horrible to say you tried your best. That's just straight up pathetic. Just gotta make sure to get to the magnet in time. It's over there. I'll do it at like three seconds. Yeah, now that it also has time to accumulate the stuff. I feel like it didn't collect everything. Am I mistaken? Up here is so much experience. The Reaper Scythe plus 200 damage. Throws continuously spinning Reaper. Are you kidding me? Continuously. Wait, no, these are not new. Spinning. Let's check this out. How this works. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, not bad. I mean, not that we could see all too much there. Uh, the skill cooldown, always good. Yep, let's take that. The rest, <laughs> I don't care about that. Even more skill cooldown. So yeah, let's check this out now. So it should go to negative 22.16. Take. No, 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 no. So it does give you the bonus based on the remaining stuff that you have. Oh, this X is so worth it. It hurts a little bit to, to buy that, but I think it's it's super worth it. Okay, I talked about that I need armor, right? Shop price plus 10% hurts. But I think this is something I have to do. And it has a huge bonus, right? Yeah, look at this. Strength plus 6 as well. Nah, that's way too good to say no to that. Uh, which book have you decided to borrow? Appetite Codex. An artifact. Rainbow Potion. SP skill charge plus one, that's my ultimate ability. Potion mix, minus 16 armor. Really? After I just bought armor? No, take that back again, please. <laughs> Can I sell that? <laughs> Honestly. Um. <laughs> I'll get rid of the toxic nova, it's DPS is 15. Would have been interesting to see what kind of ultimate ability it has. And yeah, the beetle actually kept level three. But that is such a meme. That is such a ridiculous meme. Oh, sacrifice enemies to activate the altar. I would assume that gives us an artifact, hopefully. Okay. Nice elite. Nice meme. <laughs> Almost dead. But that, that was actually the lead. I was joking. Wait, what? Okay. Not sure what we get from this. Uh, down here, poison blessing for every dash you use. I remember something about poison blessing, but I don't exactly know how it works. I dash use the number of poison layers on enemies near destination. Ah. Okay. Interesting. 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 So in other words, I should just dash close to the enemies. What is going on? What are these scythes doing? I didn't even notice that. What is their damage? 165k DPS. 165k, 129k, 3k, 4k, 8k. They're already better, way better than the other one. Okay, okay. Move distance to trigger a Godspeed blessing. That sounds interesting. But it also gives frost skill power, which is like, meh. Don't really care. I think I'll just take the luck one. Oh my god, what was that? You know what, I'm not gonna complain. Bonus gold, scavenge, reaper minus, but poison is up and puncture is up. That's actually really good. Here we have another strength bonus. The goal is that we get to the six times multiplier. So now we are at five if I take this. Correct. Uh, uh, I'm sure that's how it works out. Yeah, it's at five right now. We need one more and we get a ginormous bonus. I mean, the soul gems are, I think, what we use in the base. So it would be a bit stupid to take that. Glut is so pointless. I don't want that. Crit. Wait. Wait. We don't have that yet. That means we get the, the final upgrade there. It's level six now, right? Yeah, anni annihilate. Dude, this game is just, you know what? I'll take you. It's okay. Whoa, what? Poison explosion? There's a chance for poison enemies to explode upon death, dealing damage to its surroundings. I need 15,000. Yeah, I decided to get rid of one of these keys here. And that one actually has minus strength. So, yeah, 3% is not a world. Like, you know, that doesn't matter all too much. But 
Wait, what? Oh, what a meme. <laughs> now it got a bit more expensive. Look at this beauty. Look at it. That also means I can actually replace a poison one, right? Yeah, this counts as poison. Poison, rainfall. Welcome to the team, Mr. Legendary. What is your DPS? That was actually decent. <laughs> it's kind of funny how these two are fighting for the top ranks and this one is like, hey, 2.8k. <laughs> I'm a legendary. I exist. Are you guys ready for the boss? This is the second boss that we are taking down. Total play time is only 12 minutes because we are rushing through this. Okay. Is it total play time? No, I think on this uh, stage right now, we are... Was this the lead? I think that actually was the lead. I see 32,000 damage over there. Where is this coming from? That must be the size. Oh yeah, we are fighting against a graphics card. And there's another elite. Where is he? There. That is such a meme. <laughs> How can we be so powerful? It's not even close. You can just press escape, by the way, to skip that. Nice, good to know. Let's use the ultimate ability. Let's see how long... Is this, is this a meme? This th this is the boss that I struggled so much with? Okay, how... Okay, how broken <laughs> is this stuff? Wait, I need... Huh? Okay, how... How? Yeah, how? I think I'll actually take this one just to buff up the Reaper skill. It doesn't sound all too great, but at the same time, it's like the best option that we have in here. Wait a second. I'm missing one level for physics. Puncture is level six, sadly, but Pierce is... <sighs> okay, I mean, that's that's kind of exactly what I needed. Oh my god. <laughs> now I'm so flexible to take other weapons for poison, pierce, and puncture. Look at that. Wait a second, since when does level 7 even exist? Wait, what? L look at this. Wait, no, I, I thought the maximum was 6. They are different, so poison has a maximum of 6, but these have 7. I don't even think I have to pretend that the enemies will do anything against us. L look at what's going on. Do you see what's going on? <laughs> I can straight up walk through the enemies and they all die. What is this one here? Is that kill a certain amount of enemies to get something and I didn't know what it does the last time? There's also something blue. Yeah, kill a certain amount of enemies. Let's just use the ultimate ability. Let's see what happens. Okay. I mean, what, what, what is this damage even? But what am I expecting? The enemies don't even get close enough to get hit by it. Current damage check, by the way, 58k, 200k, 1k, 900, 11k, and 15k. No, where's my magnet? Game! You can't do this to me. Give me a magnet. Right now, please. <gasps> I got a magnet in the last second. Does it, did it collect everything? It really sucks that most of these are just useless. They do, don't really do anything for me. And I also can't rule, that means I probably... Dark skill power... I have something with you. Oh, that's an Annihilate, yeah. I mean, the bonus HP is kind of nice. I think I'll take that just to make sure we get through it, but the 21k may have been better. We actually got this maxed out. Perfect. Bye. Right, you're now... Yeah, Scholar level 6, that means... Artifact Master plus 0.2%? Well, that would be horrible if that's the case. <laughs> it's like nothing at all. We have the Dragon's Eye Ring here, which will give us a huge amount of bonus enemies, which sounds good, so I'll just take it. And a level up for weapon. What do we have in here? Venom Trap, sure, why not? Over here, what was the artifact shop? Uh, that's just the, the square that we are on. Do I go down? It wants me to fight the enemies, but I think I'll just go for the unknown event because then I can also go for the treasure. Currently our strength is 97. Yeah, yeah, champion's belt. What? Crit rate plus 10%, crit damage plus 0.2, annihilate skill power, which is what we have so much of, 8%. Win skill, totally useless. <laughs> that, that was worth it. Oh. Opening your eyes, you found yourself transported back to the once glorious arena, the golden and splendid venue. Okay, so I get something legendary and then I also get bonus experience and gold. Yeah, I'll take it. And artifacts apparently. Yeah, that sounds very good. 
Do I even care about the shrine down there to give me a buff? Is it cooldown? Oh, it's cooldown. We can actually see the skill here, or the, the, the buff down here. I kind of always miss that, but uh, yeah, that shows exactly how long it lasts. Here. I don't think the game understands that giving me a 3 minute stage or whatever this is, like a 2 minute, 3 minute stage, is just beautiful for me. <laughs> you know? It's kind of exactly what I want. Oh no, snake ladies! Did you just see the scythe going through killing all of them? <laughs> oh, they're trying their best. That's so cute. Dodge and dodge limit? Yeah, we don't care about that. I'll just get it to reset it. You survived for quite some time. Very respectable. Let me get all the experience. Oh, it takes very long to collect the experience. Maybe I should take this way earlier. The elite is coming in, by the way. Is that the elite? If you're the elite, then goodbye, elite. Oh, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000 damage. Fi Wait, that was million? I... I'm not 100% sure, but I think, I think that was a million. <laughs> I think I'll get the... Is the beetle better to do that right now? I think it's better because then we have twice the chance to get an S version of something. Like, it could even be a different type of skill. And if it's just a poison that I replace, then I'll take it. Dodge is okay, armor is okay, but we already have one piece, so we don't get a level up. I'll just take the money here. Oh... Uh, I actually had a lot of money. Do you guys know what Reckless is? Because I don't. I'll just take it to get the Reckless. Here, ability to increase damage when health decreases. Ah, not bad. Yeah, yet again, I don't like any in here. Uh, this one is already owned. I'll just sell the most expensive one. We have almost 100k gold. Max health, enemy respawn up is really good. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. We have 2500 HP. We can get you to level 7. And we get bonus intelligence. Yes. So now we have plus 35 strength. And the boss attack is down. Magic can also be taken further. We get knockback bonus intelligence range. Sure. Quite expensive. Quite expensive. But I think it's worth... Why did I just buy that? Why did I just... Okay, to be fair, this one doesn't do a lot. And this one... That actually would have been straight up insane. That would have been really good. Okay. I'm a little bit mad. Just a little bit. Don't say anything. I think there was a symbol that you can lock something. And I just realized that after I already rolled. Don't just... Just pretend there was nothing, okay? Yep. Let's take you up. That sounds very good. We have so many treasure chests here. This is why I took this path. Hey, that's... That's... That's the one that I wanted. E well, is one of these better? Holy Winfrey? No, we'll, we'll take that. And gold bonus as well, which doesn't really matter all too much. Yeah, just uh, could it be I'll sign up to fight through hell? The demon couldn't be possibly so I freeze. No, 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 we'll, we'll fight. <laughs> we are strong. Don't get one shot now, Dex. Please don't get one shot. Is this like a boss fight only? And then it's over? That was a legendary artifact, I think, or something. Venom trap is maxed out. We are just fighting against elites and get a huge amount of artifacts. Th guys, this is not a punishment. I think you misunderstand this. This is heaven for me. This is like the best thing ever. I just lost 500 HP in a single hit. Okay. Um. Don't, Dex, don't, don't be too cocky. Don't be too cocky. There's another artifact, okay. There. I see it. Um, one third of my HP is gone. Okay. Dude, there are so many. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. You, you can't seriously think that's a punishment, right? Um, I... Is that... Oh, because I don't have level ups anymore. Yes. <laughs> okay, how many... <laughs> how many artifacts will I get here? <laughs> Take. This, this was the first one. This one is perfect because that means more artifact summons. Okay. That is the second one. Oh, uh, get another shop refresh or bonus enemies. Let's get this one. That was the third one. I don't even really want anything here, so I'll just sell this. That was the fourth one. This one is okay because it gives me armor. This is the fifth one. Then we have the sixth one. I just sold that. The seventh one also getting sold. That's way too much gold to say no to. 
So either I take flat damage, or I sell one of these, or we take the Wisdom Codex, which gives us plus one in summon, and plus one in time, and what does time do? Time is the cooldown reduction one, and minus enemy movement, I'll take that, that's way too good. Yeah, I can't say no to that. And now we can even get more out of this, so we have a huge amount of strength, yeah, we want more. The Skull hastily said I will add another 500 soul gems and 10,000 gold. <laughs> and we got a soul of Arcadia, 20% bonus damage, yeah sure. But why? I don't even have to fight anything, you know? I just click here, do this stuff, threaten, yeah, let's just threaten. Why not? What, what just happened? You can clone a super skill? What, 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 what? So you did half a million damage, you did less than half a million. I, I think I'll just go with that. Yeah, let's go with the first one. Confirm. And now... <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sword. I honestly don't care about you all too much. The magic mirror began drawing onto out your soul and does something. And I got so much experience out of this. There's an event. Let's let's just do all of them. Infuse the gate with the power of seven demon souls. Requires demon soul synergy seven. I don't think I have that. And yeah, we can just click. Yeah, okay. Wow. That was useless. Well, that's actually not bad. I did lose a bunch of HP, but that's, yeah, not, that's not bad. Tornado Hound? Oh, I need to make a summon build. There's also the dragon. Yeah, there's nothing in here anymore that we can take. At this point, I don't even think we can get something good out of this shop. I mean, we can take a look through it. Yeah, that's useless. Gift from Puncture? I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Then we have a huge amount of bonus crit, which sounds perfect right before we fight the final boss. And I think I can't even buy anything anymore. Yeah, because these are all way too expensive. If I get something really good, I think I'll sell stuff, but this is not what really good stuff looks like. Now what we could do is we could enchant stuff. So if I don't like something, like this one is totally useless, right? Ah, uh, range is okay. I actually had no idea that it would also change the color of it. Luck is okay. Yeah, that's good. Reaper negative, that's obviously good to change. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it's also kind of cheap, you know? So you could just do this for ages and get the perfect stuff on these things. Uh, yeah, fire skill, bonus experience, dash cooldown. The best thing is that you can also just change something negative to something positive. So here we have negative Reaper, right? And I can just... Your number has been used up. Your numbers? Oh. Oh. So, I hope you guys are ready. I think this is the final boss, and if not, then this entire thing is way too long. Uh, is this for the final boss summon? I kind of want to go over there and do... Wait, we have two of those. Yeah, to say that we are overpowered would be an understatement. We have now two of these arrows, and look at them, dealing half a million damage each. Uh, where was the summon here? It's 500 that looks like an extra boss that you can do. And I think the 1000 is the main boss. Oh, there he is. Okay, that's... Oh, that's actually the dragon that we see flying by. Uh-oh. Okay. Insect with pointed ears. This is not a forest. Hey! That's kind of accurate. I mean... She has pointed ear. One million <laughs> damage! <laughs> oh, nice lobster, man. Oh, you did a great job. Where's the boss, though? I want the dragon to appear. I just want to see if we deal any damage. Defeat him? There he is! There Okay. Um, that's... Is that the final boss? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You're way smaller. Oh, you're cute. You're tiny. <laughs> A king shall not die. You're tiny. <laughs> what is that even? <laughs> oh, hey. Um, okay, don't don't play with your photo decks. Just kill it. Ooh, I lost no HP, actually. Never mind. That, that, that was cute. Guys... You did a great job. Yeah, you, you scared me so much. You showed me what dragons can do. The pawn ate the king. Yeah, well, maybe maybe you are not the king, you know. <laughs> maybe maybe there was a misunderstanding. And there we go. We actually did it. Collect. Co oh, do I have to do this for all of these? So this one is also interesting. You have to choose which one you want to have. And I think when it shows the arrow, it means the current one is better. So this one only has positive effects. And if I click on collect, yeah, this one is way better than this one. Okay, interesting. 
So as I've promised, I will show you a bit of the city, just that you know what happens here. So here you can unlock characters, but they are tied to your actual castle level, or if you just meet them in an event apparently, but this is how you unlock them. So this is very basic. Then you get to the magic council, and this is where you have a bunch of upgrades, okay? You can, you can do a lot here. Then over here you have the black market, and I think after use the next node can choose a different path. Yeah, you have like teleport scroll and stuff like that. Like, there are a lot of things, okay? I have to check this out because there's so much that's going on. Then you have the artifact vault. This is just the stuff that I currently own, and you can also uncollect that if you want to get rid of it. The church over here, that's just the encyclopedia. We don't really care about that. You know, it lists all of the stuff. The blacksmith is very cool though. This is where you can unlock new weapons for the characters. This is why we started with the poison arrow instead of the silver arrow. So I would say let's just upgrade the castle right now. And then we have the obelisk. This is where you gain a huge amount of bonuses. Like just by doing random things. This game is really... I have never... This, this game feels like a mobile game. You know these super addictive mobile games, but you end up spending a huge amount of money on it. This feels exactly like that, except that you can't spend money on it, you know? It's just free. And there's obviously the endless portal. But this is so cool. This is straight up like one of these gacha mobile games, but like, wait, what are you guys? Oh yeah, you can drink with them. I totally forgot about that. Sorry, guys. Um, you can drink with them. You can build up friendship. Don't ask me why I already have friendship, okay? <laughs> I was drinking a bit. And then you can also talk with them, and if you do, like, the right ones, then you drink more, you know, stuff like this here. Okay, this one didn't even have right or wrong ones. And I don't even know what this does. This is the affinity. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's nice to look at. <laughs> well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.